Hello, in this video I'll be swapping out the hard drive in this Mac Mini. This is a late 2012 model, uh, unibody, with an external, um, with a solid state hard drive. I've got a Samsung one terabyte drive, and I've cloned this, um, the drive in the Mac Mini to this solid state hard drive uh, using this Sabrent USB enclosure. And I have a video on that procedure I'll link to in the description. And if you uh, are interested in buying a solid state drive or an enclosure, I'll put links to those in the description also, and there'll be my Amazon affiliate link. And if you buy uh, using my link, it'll help out the channel a little bit and help support making these videos. So to get started, we'll turn this over and there's little kind of like thumb holes here and you just give it a little counterclockwise turn and the back here will pop off. And we have access to the inside of the computer. And then we'll use a T6 Torx screw to loosen these uh, fan screws. Next we'll remove this other screw down here. We'll carefully lift this out of here. And there's a little connector down here. I'll get closer. And we'll need to pull this out of here. There we go. So you just lift up on that connector and you can pull the fan out. Next we'll remove this screw over here. Let me raise this back up. Now we'll remove this other screw. The small screw. And then this plastic piece will come out. Next we'll remove this Wi-Fi shield thing and we're removing these four screws here. These are actually hex nuts. Um, they're two millimeter hex nuts, but the uh, T8 works there. So now I'll lift this plate up carefully. And it'll have a wire attached under here. So you want to pop this antenna off of here. You want to use a plastic tool, so I'm using a metal screwdriver to do this because I'm a rebel, I guess, or something. It was stuck with a little bit of tape. So we've got that off of there. So now we want to loosen this hard drive connector. I do have a plastic uh, tool here. And I've got that loose. Now 
Now we can carefully remove the hard drive. We'll take the connector out of there. This will transfer to the new hard drive. So I'll carefully pry that off. There's some tape on here. So I'll peel that off or cut it. Looks like I'm able to peel that back. Okay, so now that I have that peeled, this should come right off. There we go. We'll hold these uh, hard drives together so they're lined up and you'll see there's some screws here. These are T8 uh, torque screws. Those will need to be transferred to the new hard drive. So now we have the screws on the new hard drive. Then the cable can be connected up. And I'll put this piece of tape on there. And now we can slide this back in and connect it up. You can see there's some, well, I don't know if you can see them very well. You can see these white holes, there's mount holes above that. I created a little handle here with some tape to help me guide this in. Okay, now I'll peel my tape off. And we'll line up the connector on the motherboard here, press that in place. Now I'll replace this antenna connector. This could get a little tricky here because it's pretty tight back there. Now the hard drive will actually mount to this plate. I'll just make sure these holes are lined up. Next we'll replace this side plate here. Now I'll plug the fan back in. I'll set the connector on top and press it down. The final step is to replace this plate. And we're good to go. So that's the process for uh, swapping out a hard drive in a Mac Mini. and. Uh, if this video is helpful to you too, please click that like button. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll also put some uh, other links in the description of some of my other upgrade videos and such if you're interested too. So uh, thanks for watching.